Hello guys, welcome back to my channel TP Design and in this video we are going to perform the simulation of sleep trimming. So if a car going at a very high speed and behind that car another car is there, so what will be the aerodynamic effects on that car due to the dirty air or the turbulence of the, uh, the car which is in a front, right? So that kind of a simulation we are going to perform over here. So what in the scenario what we have to create? Let's say this is our first car and we have to build the same car behind this car. And we must perform a simulation that how much downforce it is getting, what is the turbulence effect it is getting and what will be the overall performance uh, criteria changes. So that kind of a simulation we are going to perform. So sh stay tuned till the end of this video and I hope you will enjoy the video. So let's get started. So let's start with the creating another car behind. So you just need to simple do a one step that you have to do a linear pattern over here and select the body that you want to copy. Right, so I'm selecting this body right now. As you can see, my body has been selected and now it is getting another copy, which is you can see as a yellow portion. So it is already 8000 uh, mm far away, the second one. So what you, you just need to select the direction with in which direction you have to build the car. So uh, this is the linear portion. So I will select this linear portion. As you can see, it is the front and now I will flip the direction. Now it is in the rear one, right? So this is how you can uh, create the uh, another body of your car just uh, using the linear pattern. Whatever distance you want to give, you can give it over here. Let's say I'm doing this 7000 mm. So as you can see, it is very closer now. Okay much closer i will bring okay this is fair enough for performing this simulation now i will select the okay okay so as you can see my cars has been created one is in a sleep trimming condition now we must create the uh, domains like CFD domain where we have to perform the simulation our boundary criteria we have to give. So as you can see you can start the flow simulation over here by going in, into the SOLIDWORKS add-ins or otherwise there is another option that is the go to the add-ins and click the flow simulation over here and you are ready to go right. I will select the flow simulation I will select the wizard. Now in wizard, I will do a sleep streaming CFD simulation. Okay, whatever comment you want to write, you can go with that. And here you can create a many configuration like uh, two cars behind, cars is a little bit offset from the left. So that kind of scenario, scenario you can create in the configuration panel. For now, we are just stuck to the only one uh, condition that is the uh, car behind the car, right? Now, I will select the next unit system. You have to keep it a uh, SI unit and whatever you have to change, you can change over here. Now, we will select the this one and you can do the external type of simulation. We are not uh, closing any boundaries for this car. So, we will keep it as a external simulation. If you want to perform the time dependent simulation, then you can go for the time dependent, which will take a more computational time instead of this uh, steady simulation. Uh, gravity, you have to turn on if you want more accurate result. Uh, rotation is not there for now. If you want to rotate your tires, then you can make a particular rotating regions over here so that your uh, tires will rotate and accordingly it will give the more accurate results for your simulation. 
for the time consumption less time consumption we are unticking all the options and going for the next and in the gasoline obviously the air will be there and okay flow type will be laminar and turbulent both we don't have right now high mark number flow humidity is not existing right now now you can apply the roughness of the surface which we don't know right now so we will keep it off zero micrometer and this is the adiabatic wall right now okay nice now we have to see in what axis uh, this car is there let's say this is the coordinate system as you can see my x axis is there so in the minus x, x axis i have to give the particular velocity let's say I will give around 20 but in the minus direction okay so as you can see this is my flow is uh, getting denoted over here and I will click it to finish okay now it will automatically detect the overall uh, what you can say the computation domain but you have to uh, do the your manual setup for this so what i will do for the less time consumption i will make it a very less it is a little bit offset but no worries for the just this is just for a study purpose it's not any very accurate results we want to take this is for your information if you want to do a slip streaming simulation how we can do okay now we are ready for the setup ha huh. now the main portion is uh, comes into the picture while you are doing the simulation you have to particularly focus on the boundary conditions and also the goals you want to take what goals uh, you will take for the this kind of simulation so in the global goals you can select overall uh, your down force your drag force this will be overall uh, results will be there but we don't want the overall results so what you will do i will just explain you the uh, little portion of it so you can go for the uh, another level like it will very time taking process but still i am explaining to you how you want to move ahead in this kind of simulation so if you want to measure the down force of the front car and the rear car separately so what will what i will do i will just click it on the front wing let's say i want to compare the front wing of a front one and front wing of the rear car so what i will do i will just select the some surfaces which where I have to calculate the uh, down force so I have selected this and also you can click it over here that overall force is there so in y direction my normal force is there ok I will select this and I will click it ok so as you can see this is the down force of my fr uh, front car I will also rename it for the ok front wing front car dear now as you can see i will name this one as a front wing rear car down force go to the surface course select the surfaces over here and okay now you are done with the this one and you you have to select the down force in a way direction and yeah We're ready to go front wing rear car down force for the same thing you can select the whole surfaces and this will take a lot of con computational time so, so that's why i'm not doing i'm not performing this kind of simulation because it will take a lot of time and video will get a very longer 
I have already done one simulation in the uh, past. So you can go through that how you are interpreting the results. I am only showing the how to perform this uh, simulation. So yeah, you can you have you have selected the whole car and you can just click it the y direction normal force and you can click it this one the check and it will take some time because it is calculating the overall surfaces it is calculating the points every entity it is calculating so that's why it will take some time if you don't have a good processor then maybe you cannot perform this uh, well so as you can see this is overall uh, downforce value is there as you can see these are the selected surfaces but what if if you want to do a dynamic simulation dynamic simulation like uh, your one car is moving and second one car is trying to overtake that kind of simulation can't be performed due to the solidworks flow simulation limitation but you can perform this kind of simulation in uh, star ccm plus ansys fluent you can do uh, do do that uh, simulation in the software so i will try to uh, showcase those kind of uh, simulation in a future so for that uh, you can support us and you can like share and subscribe and write down your requirements in comment box and i will look into it so this is all for the video uh, we ha I had a uh, lot of requirements for this uh, slip streaming simulation so I just uh, clarified this and now you can ping whatever you want to learn I will showcase that in my future video. Thank you so much and keep supporting, keep sharing, keep learning.